Hello friends, it's me Michelle Fippen, uh, Norwex Independent Consultant, and this is Tell Paisley. Me. Paisley is also her mom's independent Norwex consultant, correct? Yes. Norwex Guru right here. I am coming to you live from my bathroom to just tell you how I launder my class. And we have some new products that were just released August 1st, so I'm going to go over those too. So I just put all my Norwex um, here inside my washing machine. I have an energy efficient washing machine that will matter to um, some of you. And um, with me, I'm just gonna kind of show you. I keep my powdered laundry detergent in this pretty little glass case. So and you do not have to, you can keep it in the bag. It works just as well. Um, your bag will come with this scoop. If you do not have an energy efficient, um, washing machine, you will want to do a full scoop of laundry because of that. Or if you have hard water or anything like that, you might want to use more laundry detergent than what I do if you do have an energy efficient. You just kind of have to play around with what works for you. So for my laundry, because I do have an energy efficient, I use about one teaspoon, which looks like that. And then I will just, I'm going to put this back up here. Uh -uh, back up. Please don't. Drop it right in there into my washing machine. <clears throat> like I said, I have my Norwex glass in there. I do wash my Norwex separate than my other laundry because our other laundry comes, um, you know, it has different, um, like towels are more linty than um, a typical thing. Or if you have something that got on your other stuff, you don't want to get it on your Norwex. So Norwex is pores because of it being microfiber. So we don't want the, clog the pores to get clogged. So I always wash my Norwex separate from my other stuff because I don't want lint or anything like that getting trapped in the pores because that can affect how it works. So I did one scoop of, like, I'm sorry, one teaspoon of our powdered laundry detergent for um, my energy efficient washing machine. Now with my Norwex cloth, I wash it on the hottest setting possible. The reason I do that, and this was only my Norwex cloth, I wash on the hottest setting possible because, um, like I said, it's microfiber and it's pore based. So um, that hot water is going to cause um, those pores to swell open and release all the junk that is trapped in them. So cold, cold water will not um, cause those pores to swell as well as a hot water because we want all the stuff that's trapped in those pores to leave the cloth so they can start over again. Um, one of the new things that um, we have gotten, the other thing we have, we do have liquid laundry detergent. Um, so this is our Norwex liquid laundry detergent. You would use, if you have a small load, you'd use one pump. If you have a medium sized load, you do two pumps. And if you have a regular load, you would do three pumps of this. Um, I tend to use a powder because we have a very large family. We have a family of eight. And I tend to, um, you go through the liquid laundry detergent a little faster than I do the powder. So, but the liquid laundry detergent works a little stronger than the powder because it has um, its own plant-based enzymes and the enzymes work a little harder at getting some of those stains and grud out. So it kind of depends which one I use depending on what my laundry problem is. Now our laundry detergent does work great on cold water. So all my other laundry, I for the most part you wash on cold water. Now, in addition to the Norwex laundry detergent, we do have a couple other options, but before I do that, I wanna cover our brand new laundry detergent. Norwex just released Eco Laundry Detergent Strips. This is a sample size container. Um, a regular container is gonna be a little bit bigger and a little bit wider than this. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you this. So for this sample size, it just comes with two strips. So you are going to just tear it, and then I'm going to tear it again, and then I would throw just this strip into my washing machine. So I'm gonna do that now. So we call it tear it, toss it, wash it. That's all you have to do. And if you think of how much room this would take up versus a bulky bag of laundry detergent or a container or a plastic container, the container it comes in is recyclable, completely recyclable, biodegradable. These strips are completely biodegradable, safe for your environment, safe for plants, people, humans, all of that. So if you were to wash your laundry in a creek, it would be completely safe for it to wash down the creek and be completely safe for animals in the creek, the land, the water, the plants, everything. So that is amazing. Norwex is killing it with that stuff. So, um, but think of like your college kids, your campers, um, anywhere where you don't have a lot of room. This is amazing. Okay. So our brand new came out August 1st. Love it. So, um, and again, it dissolves um, in cold water or hot water, your choice. Um, 
It does take one to two minutes to dissolve. So if you are washing it in your sink at your hotel room or you are washing it on your um, in the stream or creek because you're out in the wilderness, give it one to two minutes of washing, okay? The next thing that is new, um, I'll go back to the old. So the other thing we have is microfiber booster. Um, microfiber booster is great for deep cleaning anything you need. So I do deep clean my Norwex cloths about once a month, um, just depending on how much I use them. And um, the reason I would deep clean them is because they are porous and they do get um, lots of gunk stuck in them. How I know to deep clean them is if I feel like they're not working as well or they're starting to smell or anything like that. Now, if your cloths are starting to smell, it's because you're A, not rinsing them out enough, B, not letting them dry enough, or C, not laundering them enough. Or you've gotten something that you shouldn't have in your Norwex cloth. Say your neighbor or your mother or your mother-in-law used your cloth and um, washed it in not appropriate laundry detergent. That can do it. That can make your cloth smell. So I would deep clean my cloth. And what I would do is I would do, um, I use about, again, it comes with the same size scoop as one of the bags of laundry detergent. I again, just eyeball it, how much I need in hot water and I soak and I stir occasionally and I just keep doing it until I feel like my cloths are clean. And then I would launder as usual. So, and sometimes when I don't have time to let it soak and do that, I just add that to my regular laundry. You can do it, yes. You can do that to, um, it doesn't have to be just be microfiber. So I will sometimes fill my bathtub with hot water or my sink basin and I will add my bras or a shirt or something that is, um, needs to be hand washed. I use that with it. It's great. It, it works amazing. So right now it's on the rage to deep clean like your pillows and your bedding and stuff like that. Microfiber Booster does all that for you. Plant-based enzymes, completely safe for you, completely safe for your families. Amazing. But Norwex just came out with a brand new and I just have a sample. So this is not with a container. The container will look similar to this, came out with Bright White Laundry Booster. So this would replace your chlorine bleach um, without having the harmful chlorine in it. And um, like a traditional, um, like chlorine, unfortunately can um, cause the life of your clothing to wear down over time as it makes your clothing thin, can cause holes. Chlorine is completely unsafe for our breathing and just things in general. This is chlorine free, so um, unlike chlorine, it will not make something white right away. It will work gradually over time. It is also, because it's chlorine free, completely safe and helps brighten your colored clothes. So um, this also just came out August 1st. I'm super, super excited to use it. It recommends one to two teaspoons per load of laundry. So we're gonna use this scoop, which comes in our Ultrazyme container. I'm not sure what kind of scoop will come, will come um, in this container yet because like I said, I only have a sample. So this would equal about two teaspoons. So I'm gonna have Paisley enter that into my washing machine. Um, I just choose to pour it right in the center of my drum, but if you have, I don't have a drum, so I shouldn't have said drum. If you have just one of these containers and you like to use that, or that's all you have and you don't feel comfortable putting your laundry detergent on that, you can take your detergent and um, Put it in, a, put some water in it and shake it down and make it a liquid and just pour it into that container. So that is another option. That's something we recommend for people. Um, the other thing that I want to talk about um, is say you have smelly, stinky clothes, um, athletic clothing, kids that are in athletics and their stuff is just stinky. Um, I recommend odor eliminator. So odor eliminator is great for reducing those smells. So I'm going to just kind of move my camera so you can kind of watch me. And I would just kind of do one squirt. It's highly concentrated, so you don't need much. Um, also, you can use this around your home. So because it is highly concentrated, you could put it in a spray bottle and then add water to it and squirt everything around your home. Say your couch smells, your bedding smells. Um, my son's shoulder pads. Um, football players, you know, they're sweaty, stinky, but your shoulder pads, you can't wash. You can use this on it. It helps with the smell. Amazing. So the other thing I use also is if you have a stain, we have Norwex stain remover. So I just squirt it directly on the stain. I actually use, that's why my cap is dirty. I use a cap to scrub it on. It wasn't quite shut. Um, I use it to scrub it on and then I scrub it on. And you need to let it sit for five to 10 minutes for it to work because it is enzyme based. It needs to work its magic for about five to 10 minutes before you wash it. So I always try to pre-treat it five to 10 minutes before or let's be real, I have kids. I don't always see the stain. 
So sometimes I, if I know it's there, I will pre-treat it, let it sit overnight or till whenever I wash it. Works for me, okay? Um, but Norwich just came out with a new and improved stain remover. Um, the difference is it has bigger, stronger, better enzymes in it. So it's going to work harder, stronger, and faster for you. Um, again, you still need to pre-treat your stain. I don't have the bottle yet because it just came out August 1st. I've ordered it. Can't wait to try it. But um, recommended for like red wines, chocolate, blood, um, teas, coffee, grass stains, anything that are like your higher, stronger stains that you struggle to get out. This stain remover is going to work for it. It's great. I'm so excited for it. So um, I have kids. I have a football player. I have baseball players. I have girls that love to do cartwheels in the grass. So i um, super excited for that. I hope that these were some helpful tips and some ways to do your laundry. So I hope you guys have a great day. Pays, what do you got to say? Bye.